Hi guys and welcome to the third tutorial on how to create your free website using Weebly.com so we've already gone through the process of how to make your website on Weebly.com so now we're going to start looking at how we can edit it and make it more like our own we've created a new banner picture using one of our own pictures so now we can start looking at playing around with text and using the spaces and some of the build tools. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Okay, so we're back in the build tab here. I don't want the website to look like it's called Be Real. So let's just select that and then turn it off. So at the moment, there's already a spacer here and there's already a text box. I'm going to remove these and we can make our own. So, in order to do that, we're going to remove this space. So we hover over this cross, wait till it goes red, and the delete button shows, and then click on it. Are you sure to delete? Yes. So we've removed that. Give it a second. Now you'll see, because I've moved the spacer, the text box has moved up. This is one of the reasons why we use the spacers. So I'm going to remove this text box as well. In order to do that, exactly the same as how we use the spacer, so we hover over the cross there till the delete appears and it goes red. Click on that, are you sure? Delete. So now we just have our background banner and it actually says drag elements here. So it's like we have a fresh canvas for us to start building on. We have our building blocks along the side here. So what I'm going to do first is recreate some of the things that were already on our banner. So first of all we had a spacer so I'm going to grab that, hold the left button down on the mouse, pull that over and then let go. Give it a second and there we have it. We have our spacer right there. We can adjust the size of that. So if we hover over the bottom bar of the spacer, wait till the double headed arrow appears, we can move that up and down. I'm going to leave it there for now. If we now scroll back up, I'm going to grab the text block. So left button down on the mouse, drag that down, make sure that's underneath our spacer. And let go. So we have our spacer here and we have our text box. So I want this text to be a bit more central because we've got a nice image here but I want to try and get that in the centre a little bit more. So in order to do that I'm going to adjust the spacer. So I'm going to come back up to the spacer here and pull that spacer down to roughly where I want my text to sit. So now you can see that the text has moved down. Now we can have a little play with our text box. So I'm going to click on there and type in Arnie's travel website. If I want to make that bold, I can select it, go up here, click on the bold, and now you'll see the text is bold. If I want to make that italic, click on the italic. If I want to underline it, I can underline it. If I want to increase the font size, I have a plus and minus here, so I do want to increase that. So I'm going to click on that plus a few times, make that a little bit bigger, slightly more, a little bit too much, just bring that back, bring it to about there. I can also change the colour. There are plenty of default font colours to pick from here. Um, my advice would be try and pick a colour that in some way ties in with the background banner that you're using but make sure that it's still easy to read. So I'm going to go for grey because there's quite a lot of grey in the background here but I'm going to go for a darker grey so I'm going to go for that grey and then just click away and you can see that that's still visible kind of ties in with the background image. So we've done that. Next thing, I want to centralise 
the font so I just don't want that text to be to one side I'd like to put it in the center you can do that by hovering over this tab and you'll see you have these options so a line center a line right a line full so we can have a look here and see how it looks at the moment it's aligned left let's see how it looks centered that looks pretty good we can also try a line right but then it's actually interfering with the background so I don't think that works very well or we can go aligned full which brings us back to where we were before so I'm going to pick a line center okay so we're starting to build the bones of our home page here so we already had the background image arranged we've placed a spacer and we've started to play around with the text box and started to look at the fonts and the different colors lastly at this point it would be good to point out that obviously we're working on our website now we're changing it and we're doing different things to it there isn't actually a save button if we click on publish we will actually be publishing our website which we probably don't want to do at this stage however because we're working within Weebly, I will demonstrate to you now if I just close that off and let's say for example this is the next day now and we were coming back and we want to play around with our website more we type in Weebly into a Google search Weebly login, click on that go to login Weebly If you're on a college computer, you may need to sign in for this. I'm on a personal computer, so it, it takes me straight back. I was working on this site. I just click on the Edit Site button, and it takes us straight back to where we were before. Okay, guys, so we started to further personalize our home page on the website that we've created. In the next tutorial, we will dig into this further. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.